What's up guys and welcome to the final review of Madden 2018. We're going to end it with Ben Esk, rookie premiere and 89 speed. It kind of surprised me, you know, you think with all these rookie premiere cards you have great stats of course. You think they might, you know, you think they would just give him like 94 speed or something, you know, like something crazy. Kind of surprised me that, that he only got stuck with 89. I mean, I mean, you know, you know come on, if you're going to go all out you might as well do it all the way, right? But anyways, as you can see here, man, the zone and the speed combination is great. There were times where the ball was thrown a little too far, but just because of the speed alone, he had just enough to make an impact. I've definitely seen players throughout uh, Man 18 who had great zone coverage, but it was just their speed was holding them back. So it's good to know that it, his um, great speed and zone coverage mix very well together. He reminded, uh, reminded me a lot of Roquan Smith, who I just reviewed, in terms of he likes to swat the ball instead of going for the um, the interception. Like, so many of these plays you're seeing him, he, he just puts up one hand as opposed to, you know, like spinning around and uh, intercepting it. But, you know what, man? As long as, it, as long as it counts as an incomplete pass, I guess it's all right. Of all the games I played with him, he only came down with one interception, which is right here. He does have 96 zone, though. I do feel I forgot to mention that, which is obviously very good. Now, I thought he was going to just absolutely shine when it came to block shedding and whatnot. Tackling, of course, you know, secure tackler, you know, he's not going to let you down there. But um, he really wasn't block shedding as well as I thought he would. Of course, if you went, if you went up against a weak tight end or a running back, yeah, I saw him block shed crazy good. But if you went up against a, a really good blocking tight end or even an, an offensive lineman, too many times I actually saw him get pushed either back or pushed away from the running back. So... That kind of surprised me a bit. That's really doing a knock on him that I can think of. But overall, I liked what he did overall. I just wish he was a bit better at, you know, the uh, run stopping. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. And not only wrap up the review, but that will wrap up reviews in 2018. Now, this will not be my final video until Madden 19, but it will be my final review. I might do another card chat. I might also do a Madden 18, you know, in review total overall. But, um... As I mentioned before in previous videos, I did pre-order Madden, um, Madden 19, so I will get um, to play it a few days early. I'm on PlayStation, so I I didn't uh, I don't have EA access. I, I know those guys can play it. I think what like seven days early or something like that. I, th I think they can play it on the second or the third. But anyways, as soon as the game comes out, and as soon as I'm I have access to it, I will be pumping out as many videos as possible. And of course, when that day comes, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys want me to see, what you guys want me to do. I do plan on doing a lot more in Madden 19 than just reviews. I know Madden 18, I pretty much just stuck to reviews. Sprinkle, I sprinkled in a few gameplays here and there, but for the most part, just reviews. But in Madden, in Madden 19, I really want to expand and just, you know, get, you know, push out a lot more than reviews. But anyways, guys, I'll see you boys for my next video. Peace.